Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for the 1st to the 8th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and find out what you can expect for this week, my love bugs. The Two of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Six of Wands. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. The Emperor. Oh, I got something in my eye, but also I'm so shocked from this. The Emperor. <laughs> Thanks. I think I got my, like, I don't know if you can see this one, like, dangly little thing. Oh, my God. Sometimes I feel like a little gremlin when I'm doing your guys' readings. Um, if you happen to be new here, um, hi. <laughs> this is who I am. I hope you love me. Thank you. And if you don't, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Dude. What? Okay, how was the Aries full moon for you all? Drop it in the comments. I need to know. Okay, the full moon in Aries and the full moon that we're having at the end of October is like the the windows between the full moons. Ooh, baby. Oh my god, I just heard this is a really old song. I'm about to age myself. Ooh, baby, do you know what it's worth? Heaven is a playing song. That's a song, right? That's a song. Am I like it's in my head? So that's a song, right? Yeah. Anyways, heaven is a place on earth again. <laughs> You're loving it. You're living it. You know what? Your guys' monthly reading and the last little bit has been quite a peculiar situation. You've been going through it. I felt it. I've seen it. You know, I've talked to a lot of my Taurus friends as well. They're also going through it, right? Like they're also in like this weird, this weird thing. Okay. And um, It's finally shifting. But you see, you gotta take action, Taurus. Okay, my love bugs, I love you. You know, I got a soft spot for you. My North Node is in Taurus. My Mars is in Taurus. I love your sensuality. I love your stubbornness. I love how you just always have a knack for the finer things in life. I really love these beautiful, like gorgeous, like you just know how to, you just know how to live life, you know? Shift skills. And here's the thing. Sometimes you like to be lazy. I'm just going to call it out there, okay? And baby, this is a month where you're going to have to apply yourself. But you see, you apply yourself in a feminine way, right? Like think about like Venus. You're ruled by Venus. Think about Venus. She applies herself in a feminine way. Recep receptivity, creativity, sensuality, um, being open, right? Um, connecting, um, just exuding this beautiful, gorgeous, feminine vibration, regardless of whether you're male or female, I don't care. Tap into that feminine energy, okay? And see how the floodgates open and the opportunities start coming your way. You are going to have to take advantage of those opportunities though, okay? With the Two of Pentacles showing up here, I'm seeing options, choices, lots of different things that you're going to have to be micromanaging and balancing, but that's okay because this busyness is something that you actually need to get you out of this mental funk that you've been in. And this business is actually going to help you to get really strategic, really organized, really logical and rational and very methodical in your processes, okay? Rather than like being in this over analysis paralysis, you're going to be like, I don't have time for that. I need to do a to-do list and I'm going to start getting it done. That's actually going to lead you to a very victorious moment in your life. I think this week you're going to be feeling like things are good, you know, like you're feeling very high vibe. You're finally out of this funk. You feel like you're be re being reborn again. You're, you're just feeling like... Boom, heart center cracked open. Look at all these opportunities flowing my way. And when you step into that energy, Taurus, the wheel turns and the emperor comes out. Let me tell you a little bit something about the emperor, okay? The emperor is disciplined, structure, routine. He runs his empire like a badass boss. And yes, I said to you, tap into your feminine energy, which would be the empress, okay? So tap into that to receive right? Tap into the feminine to receive, but now operate from the masculine and start doing that stuff rather than like thinking that it's just all going to come to you while you're laying on a chaise eating your grapes. I know you. Okay. I heard some of, I literally, I think one of you is actually eating grapes right now. That is hilarious. Purple ones. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, with your leg up, like like the people of Pompeii, you know? Okay. At the end of the week, after like this whole shift in your energy, in your mindset, um, oh, even being grounded. I didn't even recognize this. Being Becoming grounded, embodiment, living in connection. Go out with the universe. Hang out with source. 
Take responsibility for the things that have been happening for you. Accountability is a big thing. And I'm going to tell you something. It's really hard to turn around and be like, I'm the fucking problem. Sometimes you are. Sometimes, yes, I agree that there are shit, there's shit that happens outside of your like control. But in Align, which is my nine-week transformative course, and for those of you that have taken it, drop it in the comments, I share one thing over and over again, and that's the first light law. And the first light law which God spoke to me about was, or is, I should say, that everything begins and ends with you. He always says to me, Charlene, everything begins and ends with you. And so I'm going to say to you, everything begins and ends with you. Okay. You're going to blame other people. Or you're going to take responsibility up to you. I think you're taking responsibility because you got the sun and the star. Look at this. Hello. 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 Hi. It's the universe calling. It's a nice time for you. It's going to be a great week for you. Okay. You're going to, you're just going to have a really good energy here. I really love this for you. And I actually think the work, things are going to just work out very nicely for you. And you're going to get a little taste, a tease of how incredible it is when you raise your vibration and live in alignment. Okay. Now we're going to move on to your love reading. If you want to book a session with me, work with me in any capacity, it's in the description box below. Okay. I do, um, I want to let you know, I do have a free newsletter. So if you want to know what's going on in the cosmos, if you want to know about like this eclipse stuff, you want to get additional tarot readings, etc. All of that is in my free newsletter. Link's in the description box below. It's called Beyond the Veil. I think it just says sign up to my newsletter down there. So go do that, okay? Now, you got Venus, or yes, you got Venus. Venus is Morgan Barrel and Rose Quartz, and it's literally connected to the goddess of love, the planet that rules. You, babe. Okay? So anyways, um... If you want to attract sensuality, more abundance, more pleasure, more joy, more happiness in your life, you're going to want to start wearing Venus, okay? Links in the description box below over at Star Sea Jewels, which is my jewelry line. Let go of control issues. Stop being so stubborn. Taurus. I know it's really hard. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Just remember, receive. Discipline, structure, not control. Discipline, structure, not control. Discipline, structure, receiving. Okay? Let go of control issues. Let's dive into this love reading. Let's see what's going on. The nine of pentacles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Temperance attraction. Ooh, if you are single like a Pringle, the star again if you are single like a Pringle, um, somebody may have their eye on you and be, be making their way towards you. Do you do? Can't help but see that here. Um, the more that you love yourself, the more that you heal yourself, Taurus, the more opportunities are going to come through, especially opportunities in love if you are single. If you are in a relationship and things are just, you know, a little bit salty right now or a little bit difficult right now, let go of the control issues. Focus on loving yourself. Focus on falling in love with yourself. Do things that bring you joy and happiness. Uh, enjoy the moments, the present moments. Like stay present, stay grounded, go for walks, do that kind of stuff. And watch how things start changing around for you. You got love yourself first, the star, attraction, and temperance, and the nine of pentacles and let go of control issues. All right, love bugs, I'm going to drop your quarterly reading right here for you to see what's in store for you for the next three months before we wrap up this year. Can't believe I said that. And like I said, if you want to book a session, join my private members community sanctum, um, sign up to my free newsletter, pick up your amulet, all the things. It's in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support, your likes, your subscribes, everything. I'm so grateful for you. We will see you later. Alligator. Peace out. Bye.